Hello everybody. I'm going to go ahead and just answer some of our most frequently asked questions regarding the masks that are found within our different films. We get a lot of questions asking, hey, what mask do I have? How can I identify what mask I have? Um, and recently, the website that we would always recommend people to utilize has unfortunately been under construction, so those resources are not readily available um, without other users, you know, having a screenshot of it handy. So for those of you that are newer getting into the ghost face mask collection, uh, I want to go ahead and just kind of highlight some of these primary masks that we see here. Now on the very far left, we do have a Gen 1. This one is a poly shroud, uh, but they do come in a cotton variety as well. The way that you can go ahead and ensure if you have a Generation 1 is going to be by a handful of mouth indicators, which I'm going to go ahead and post a picture of right here. So you can take a look at this. Feel free to screenshot those images. So that way you can reference if you do have a Generation 1. Now mine is a second dimple, which you can see right there on the bottom, uh, and this is a Generation 1. Now Generation 1s and Generation 2s are very similar. However, Generation 2s are going to be a little bit more splotchy and have a more matter paint more often than not. Generation 2s will have a dimple up at the top sometimes, uh, but there are other indicators that you can look out for, which we're going to go ahead and post an image of that here. So feel free to once again screenshot this. Now, Gen 1s and Gen 2s will also always have the Fun World Div on the bottom of their chin stamp. Generation 1s were used in Scream 1, Generation 2s were used in Scream 2. Easy way to keep track. Another mask that we have over here is the Randy Death Scene, and this was used inside of Scream 2 for, take a guess, Randy's Death Scene. So when Randy dies, this is the mask that is worn by Miss Loomis. And if you look on the chin here, you will see it is an Easter Unlimited stamp with an MK. Do keep in mind that there are a variety of MK Factory chin stamps that aren't the Randy Death Scene mask. Now, some examples of this would be the MK Squinty, which I'll post a picture of here, and the RDS Lookalike, which looks very similar to what we're looking at here, but the main differential is going to be the shape of the eyes and especially the shape of the nose, as one is more pointed, whereas the RDS, as you can see here, is a little bit more round for the nose shape. Once we go ahead and take a look at Scream 3 to now, we'll be taking a look at the EU, and this is a standard EU. The one I have here is a de-shrouded 25th anniversary that I'm currently going to go and put a new polyester shroud on, uh, but it still serves its purpose here. Now, EUs are all going to have the Easter Unlimited chin stamp, which we'll be able to see here on that little chin stamp. It'll look just like that. And there are a few different eras of these. Uh, now, if you want a specifically Scream 3 EU era, uh, they will have on the shroud, they'll have a tag on the back here without a year on it. So a little, little white paper tag, and it will not have a year on it. Anything past the Scream 3 era, so Scream 4 or 5 onwards, will have a year on that tag. And you can use that year to kind of figure out what film this was more than likely used during that era. Now speaking of this mask that I do have right here, this was used inside of Scream 4. This is a TD reshoot mask. Now this was called the reshoot mask because obviously in Scream 4 some reshoots were needed and this was the mask that they went and utilized. Now we can see that this is a TD stamp. Mine is reshrouded unfortunately, it used to be a bib so it's a bit hard to see here. But right there, you can see the little TD on there, letting us know that the TD factory went ahead and made this one. Now, a lot of masks that people are getting and that are for sale currently are going to be the Ultra Whites, which are super common. You can find these at Walmart, Spirit, wherever. Five bucks, roughly, and honestly, that's probably about all they're worth. These are really glossy, really shiny, and lately have been having really bad paint jobs. Like, I'm not a huge fan of how sloppy the mouth paint is here on this one that I own. Uh, this was used in the MTV series in Season 3, um, but then they went ahead and also reverted back to the EU, if I remember correctly. I'll go ahead and add a note on if I was right or wrong right here. 
Now, you can still go ahead and get an EU if you want a movie mask, and these were used in the new Scream 6 film as the primary killer mask. They're available on Walmart right now for about 15 bucks as the time of this recording. Uh, don't know how long they're going to stay around or be available, considering that it is an anniversary item. So make sure you go ahead and get them while you can. Now for our next segment, I don't unfortunately have any ropes to showcase here, so I'm just going to go ahead and utilize images. We do often get asked, where do I go to get a rope? There's a variety of places that you can go to get a rope. Here are some of our most popular ones. Their price range is going to be anywhere between around 350 to 500 and whatever shipping may be. But these are our most popular robe makers. Depending on what film you're looking for, some robe makers may or may not have those available. If you're looking for a movie quality robe that's under $100, unfortunately you're not really going to be able to find something like that, aside from the 25th anniversary Fun World costume, which are once again kind of hard to get a hold of currently, as resellers and scalpers are going ahead and selling them for ridiculous amounts of money. But if you see one at your local costume store, make sure you go ahead and snag it, as they are super sought after. You can also go ahead and add sparkles to your default Fun World costume if that's your style. Otherwise, you're going to be coughing up about anywhere between 350 to 500 depending on who you go to and where you're getting it from and where you're located. Now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show a photo set of some product pictures for some robe makers that I'm familiar with. If you know of any additional ones, feel free to let me know in the comments and shout them out. With that, thank you for watching my video, and I'll catch you all later.